Hello again, and welcome to another installment of Monday Meditations. If you are just joining me today, my name is Anna DeVesta, and I'm the Director of Music Ministries here at St. John UCC in St. Charles, Missouri. Today, I thought we could celebrate Black History Month with a spiritual. Guys, I love spirituals, but I often struggle with programming them. As a predominantly Caucasian woman, I want to make sure that I am coming from a place of respect. Sometimes the line is not so clear between appreciation and appropriation. However, if we choose to just not sing spirituals, then they will be erased from history. So it is important for us to not only embrace spirituals, but to truly understand where spirituals came from. We must face our dark history to move forward. That is what Black History Month is all about. No, I don't think that we should just celebrate our African-American brothers and sisters one month out of the year, but it is a start. So here are some spiritual did you knows. Spiritual music was a way for enslaved people to communicate. Slaves were not allowed to learn to read or write. So music became a way to relay information and to pass down history to younger generations. Spirituals often relayed information on escaping to freedom, such as gospel training, behold that star, deep river, follow the drinking gourd, and wade in the water. Sometimes drumming was used as a sort of Morse code to pass information among different plantations. Drumming introduced several new instruments into American folk music, such as bones, body percussion, and even a precursor to the banjo. Spirituals were sometimes referred to as sorrow songs, as enslaved people were crying out in sorrow while still yearning for their freedom. Spirituals were, and still are today, an emotional release. They remind us of hope and help to restore our spirit. Spirituals were often sung as a call and response. A leader would sing the verses and the congregation would respond. Often the leader would make up verses, which is why you might find several different words and even different melodies to the same song. And finally, spirituals heavily influenced American music and made American music into what it is today. As I stated in the beginning, I truly love spirituals. My soul cries out when I hear a stirring spiritual. In fact, I struggled with choosing just one. I looked at all my trials. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. I want Jesus to walk with me. Jacob's ladder but eventually settled on Here's One. Here's One is a soul-stirring spiritual, but its lyrics are a simple devotion to God. The lyrics say, talk about a child that do love Jesus. Here's one. Here's one. Talk about a child that's been converted. Here's one. Here's one. William Grant still wrote one of the best settings of this spiritual or any spiritual for that matter, for solo voice and piano. Later, he adapted it for choir and piano. And then finally, one of his friends, Louis Kaufman, heard this amazing arrangement and decided to adapt it for violin and piano. I sense a violin solo coming up sometime soon. I encourage you to read up on William Grant still, as he is one of our most Amer amazing American-born composers. And with that, I hope you love this arrangement of the emotional spiritual. Here's one.
I hope this music has left you feeling refreshed, refocused, and ready to take on the week. I hope that you'll consider joining me next week for another installment of Monday Meditation. And as always, I hope to see you in church on Sunday, right here at St. John UCC in St. Charles, Missouri. Bye, guys.